Hey glow getters. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chi Chi of Orange Glow and today we are talking spring essentials or a spring cap. Basically the things that are necessary to have in your wardrobe in this spring season. Got in a couple of items and I wanted to share with you guys. A couple of them did not work out so let's start with those. <laughs> I got one item from ASOS and when I saw it I Immediately, I'm like, oh, I need to have it. This is awesome, right? It's this polka dot. Um, it's cream with black polka dots. Uh, it's a bralette. It's it's like a three piece set actually. It has a blade. It has a blazer. It has a bralette, and it has a uh, flare pants. All of the pieces are sold separately. And I wanted to, I, I actually bought the bralette and the pants. And then I said, if I like it, I'd go back and get the blazer, right? Cause I'm thinking maybe I'll go somewhere, nothing yet, but maybe I'll go someplace and I'll be able to wear that outfit. So I get it and I'll show you, I get it. And it is not, it looks good, right? Don't get me wrong. But it's not hitting like how I thought it would. The pants, although it fits the, uh, I don't know how to explain. So you'll see it. It's long where the inseam is from, not the inseam, like the, how do I explain that? The line from the button, <laughs> to, from the button to where your thighs meet, that portion of the pants is long. It's very high. Okay. So it's very high waisted, right? but it cuts me right at the, the heel of my leg. And I don't like that because that means that I can't, I, I would only have to be like, I would only have to wear flats. I don't even think I could wear heels with it. It just hits me at an awkward length. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that it was, although it was high waist, it was just weird. It, it just, the fit felt weird. And it was very, very thin, very see-through. Now, that was the pants. I like the bralette, but the bralette, let's be honest, it did not fit. It's my size, right? But where the cups are, I don't know. It was just, it was, it, it didn't hit like how I thought it was going to hit. And I was kind of bummed about that because I really was looking forward to styling up and wearing that outfit someplace. But, you know, and I like polka dots. So that's kind of what drew me. Y'all know I like patterns, right? So anytime I see polka dots, I am like, okay, let's see if it's my vibe. Do I have too many polka dots? I do have polka dots already. And I was thinking like, mm, can I, you know, can this work in the closet? Anyway, all in all, it didn't work. <laughs> Next. I watched someone that was basically saying that Amber, Amber, Amber Crombie is, you know, they have a curvy line and it's supposed to be really good for those that are really thick at the bottom and um you know like those are the good it jeans now i'm very funny when it comes to jeans. i don't really have that much jeans because it's hard to find jeans that fit me the way i like it right i decided to give it a shot now on a hunt for cuff jeans that's basically why we here right <laughs> i was on a hunt for cuff jeans and as i bought them in a size 14 i didn't realize that I thought I was buying it in a curve love fit, but I didn't buy it in a curve love fit. I happened to buy it in the regular, whatever the regular relaxed fit was. It's these 90 ultra rise nineties something. I'll put the, I'll put the, um, the title of it. I bought those in a size 14 one, the dark blue jeans. It was, I was able to buckle it, but it was tight. The light jean, the light blue jeans, I couldn't even get it to button. So I, I went into the store. Um, there was a store, st they have a store down in Soho. So I went down and we're talking New York. If you guys don't know, I live in New York. So I went down to Soho and, uh, returned it, tried out some jeans that were similar to that. Um, those cup jeans only to find out that the 14s doesn't, and I'm a true 14, right? That didn't really feel fit me. I don't know if it's my, I, you know, I got a big belly. What, what can I say? But I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't hit. So I, I opted to go up a size. I went up to a size 16. Now, while the 16, it, 
the 16 it fits I was able to close it it felt comfortable it was just baggy so I had gapping and you'll see how I tried it on I had gapping in the back and then I liked it but it was just baggy so I wanted to love it but I didn't love it so I ended up returning that Lastly, I bought these pinstripe. So even when I went into the store, I saw these, they had these pinstripe pants. I'm like, Ooh, I love pin any kind of pattern. I, I, you guys should know me by now. Patterns get me all the time. So I was like, Oh, I don't have any pinstripe pants, which I really don't. I don't have pinstripe pants. And so I said, Oh, that would be nice. You know, for spring, summer, Let's try it. So I happened to see it online. I got the Curve Love Fit. I got it in a size 16. And I liked it because, again, it's it gives it's wide leg. And so that extra space looks good. It gives it looked good on the trousers and not on the jeans. So I wind up actually keeping the you'll see how it looks on me. I really like it. I was stoked that um that I was able to keep these. They looked good. OK, and so next place that we are we I've been I don't know what it is I'm not gonna lie H&M has been having the pieces I find myself in there more than I've ever been like I don't think I've shopped this much H&M last year or the year before I've gotten like a you know I get a couple of pieces here and there but this time around I've been like on checking out their site I, I H&M has been really doing their big one too I really shouldn't have been in H&M <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest because I don't need any more thing but but <laughs> there's always the caveat so anyway I let me show you this you guys will have already seen it in my last video I bought this black tank dress I this dress is so good like it's just it fits so nice like it, it feels like skin it fits really, really nice. I can't, I don't, I don't have any other descriptions to the, <laughs> any words to describe it. It really does fit nice. I like the way it fits and I like that it has, it's a high neck, an elegant twist to it that I, that personally I like. Next up, I got this striped. This striped dr uh, shirt dress. Now, <laughs> again y'all know me in stripes I had no business buying this either but I wanted something blue I don't have a blue stripe look at me I don't have I have a lot of stuff I just wanted something to you know something that in the spring summertime I can just throw on because it's getting to a point it's still listen the weather here right now is 70s right it's been 70s for the past couple of days but then it's, the weather's about to drop so I want something that I can easily just put on and go and not have to fuss, like dressing with ease. That's where I'm at. <laughs> so I bought this dress and I really like it. At first, I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, mm, it's okay. When I saw it, I'm like, oh, what's this? Why they got a cinch waist? Why is that? But can I tell you that when I tried it on, I actually like it. So you'll see it. It does have the drawstrings on the sides, but what I plan on doing is pulling it and tying it in the back so that it gives that, you know, more, I, I like that tied detail in the back versus it being on the sides. So that's how I'm going to work that. And believe it or not, even though I was kind of mad that I had the cinched waist, I like cinched waist, you know, dresses like that because in the summertime, it, it, or even in the spring, some depending on the season, when I really wanted to look nice, I would I would have opted to get like a belt or something. So now that is actually favorable to me. Okay. Next, Ooh, so. this next one, this dress. Oh my God! When I scroll, <laughs> I was scrolling online and I happened to see that. I was like, Ooh, this is nice. This is different. It's actually similar to something that I had a couple of years ago that I actually um, uh gave away because I only wore it like maybe once or twice. And so this one here, I like it. I love the shoulder pads. Again, this is an elegant dress. You can wear this anywhere. In my opinion, you can wear it anywhere. I really like how I love the fit of it. I like that. It looks, I like that it's nice and cream. You can jazz it up anyhow. I'm, I didn't really style it. I just put it on just so you guys can see, but it's very nice, very form fitting. It's not tight. You know, I, it looks bodycon-ish, but it's it's not. And I really like that. What else did I get? 
because I'm always buying something. I'm always buying something. And, and I, I was just like, Lord, please help me. Like, help me. I can't keep buying all the stuff that I'm buying. And yeah, I want you guys to see what I got. But my closet is like, <laughs> every time I turn around, my closet keep falling because there's more stuff being added to it. Anyway, I digress. So I bought this striped. How, how, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys get the theme, right? Everything's striped. <laughs> so I bought this striped bandeau um, dress. Funny enough, this was not on my radar. There was another. It's a this one is white and black. The other one was black and white and it was a thicker stripe. It was more of a knit. That's the one that I had actually wanted to go and get in store. Downtown Brooklyn where I work, there's a H and M down there. So I said, you know, let me just go, let me just hop in and see. They had it there, but when I saw it, I was like, mm mm, this is not it. I don't I don't like this one. So I was like, yeah, this is not the one that I'm looking for. So I happened to be walking around looking, looking, looking. I saw something that I liked. It was meant for me to get it because <laughs> Because I happened to just look on the floor and I saw at the bottom that it was mixed in with clothes that it wouldn't be there. Somebody was hiding it, basically. Somebody saw their size, <laughs> brought it to, the, to a different section, hoping that nobody would get it. So I went in, I tried it. It was an extra large. I was like, oh, this is kind of big. I bought it anyway, thinking that, oh, <clears throat> maybe it'll fit. It's still loose. <laughs> More of the story, it's still loose, but I, I'm going to show you here. I end up, I wind up, um, my plan was to go to another H&M to exchange it, which I, I did, but they didn't have it in that store either. So I end up ordering it online. I'm waiting to get the large, but you'll see how it looks here. It looks good. It's just big. You know, I like it. It's just big. What is something in my closet like that? Um, I, ha I, I noticed that I have a lot of tube style, um, dresses like denim dresses, that dress, there's a lot of tube style things happening there. So my spring and summer better be filled with activities with all the stuff that is there. Okay. <clears throat> Next item I got was this, this one I was fiending for too. This is a balloon style dress. It's, it has an open back. Now what, it, what possessed me to want this dress? I don't know. But I was searching high and low, searching high and low. Again, I searched at the downtown Brooklyn um, H&M, didn't see it. I, I Oh, what I didn't mention to y'all, even with that other dress, I had went to Staten Island Mall. I didn't see it there. So I said, all right, fine. I'm, I went to another H&M that's still in Staten Island. It was like closer to the ferry. They have an outlet by the ferry. So I went there, looked around, looked around, looked around. Like, Do you guys have this dress? And it just so happened that it, the dress that it, it, it was there, it was on sale. So online, this dress is like $26.99. When I saw it, I saw my size. I got a large. It was $13.99. I was like, ooh, that's not a bad price. I'm scooping it. So I got it. I tried it. This is a really open back. Like, you can see my rolls. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, why am I so pressed to get this? dress but I may not wear it like an actual dress I think I'm gonna use it as a cover-up for like a bathing suit it it suits me better that way so I'm not at a loss with getting that dress so I got it I went back and I just so happened to say you know what? let me just go back and check to see if I missed anything the same dress I check and the other dresses that are the same dress smaller size for $7.99 what I brought that price with me so fast to the register. I was like, you know, this happens to be, this is saying, this dress says $13.99. This is the dress that I want, but the other sizes are seven, saying $7.99. That lady price matched me right there. Okay, so here I got that dress for $7.99. All right, you can't beat that with a stick. Can't beat it with a stick. <laughs> and then I got this. I don't need a sweater dress. But I saw it, I was like, do I have, again, I don't know, but I'm not going to lie. That day was a good day going in there. So I got that. I tried on that dress. I got a lot. I tried on a large and the extra large. And I liked that the extra large had more room. It gave that balloon sleeve effect that I like. It hits me like at the middle of my thigh. And though it's not bad, but 
it's not definitely have to wear stockings with these. I wouldn't wear it like with my bare legs. I don't think I'm that bold, <laughs> you know, to wear with my bare legs like that. However, I did end up getting the, um, I end up getting that dress. It was like on sale for $19.99. I can't even remember what the retail price was, but it was on sale for $19.99. Get to the register and it was like $17.99. I was like, ooh, winning. <laughs> winning. Okay. So <clears throat> it was a good day. And then I got these two, two, uh, earrings. Uh, you'll see it's like a triangle shaped earring and, um, this, look like it looked like knuckles <laughs> it's like it looked like three knuckles um there and it was cute that's something that i could do maybe you know like every day or just switching up i like jewelry that's my i love earrings that's something that i always tend to gravitate towards and i know that um when i want to do something different especially like for work those are good every you know to switch out everyday pieces actually those are it that's it um, I think that with the weather playing us up and down, I don't know about any other place. I can only speak about New York. It was 77 degrees today, okay? It was beautiful. Yesterday, it was like 75. Tomorrow is going to be like 50-something, okay? A drastic drop. So even though uh, the pieces that I got are like mix i do believe that they are essential for the days that the weather is nice and again like for the sweater dress for a day that it's cooler and you still want to go out you still want to look cute just throw on some uh, knee-high boots and go about your day you get what i'm saying so i think that these are great essential pieces to have in your wardrobe you can't go wrong i'm leaving all of these links down below if you are i want to also um stress i shop online a lot right and um i have not i, I shop online a, quite a lot and i'm very very picky like you know I, I i don't just buy whatever i see i'm i i'm very cautious as to what i'm gonna get and i have to sit on it so i haven't done impulse shopping in quite a while and I like that. <laughs> but the reason why I'm saying this is that if you also are the type that you're like, oh, I never find my size, you know, I don't know how this store fits or that store fits, I would definitely implore you to try, go to your nearest mall or area that they have, or outlets, you know, like, you know, malls or outlets that carry these places like a H&M or um, Gap or Navy, those kind of things that are budget friendly. You know, these places are very budget friendly. And I would say just take a day, two hours. That's all you need to go in. You don't even have to buy nothing. Just go in there and try on the clothes. And why am I saying that? Because it gets you in the mindset of saying, okay, this is how I like things to fit. Instead of having to always buy something online and you're not sure how it was gonna fit and you're like, oh, the process to return is tedious. You don't want to miss out on knowing what actually fits the fabric, the, the amount of, you know, polyester, cotton, viscose, uh, spandex, those percentages, those also play a key role in looking at, you know, like how things fit. So again, it's baby steps. Okay. It's not, you're not going to just go in and be like, Oh, I know what I want today. No, just even if it's 20 minutes, I may, I said two hours, but I'm, I've gotten to that point where I can actually take the two hours to do that. I wasn't there before. It would take me to be maybe like 20. I would have to do like 20, 30 minutes, just go in, find something that I like. Half the time I couldn't get anything because they didn't carry my size. Like I remember there used to be a time where I'd go into Zara I'm not shopping Zara anymore. That's a long story, but I'd go there and they never carried my size as far as bottoms go. Any, I'm always, um, extra, extra large when it comes to pants and I would not find that size. I remember going to those places and not being able to find something, but I would do it little by little. And I, that kind of give me the boost of confidence to just say, okay, I know what I like. Um, and Zara is a place that you can be wearing from medium, large, extra large. You know what I'm saying? So uh, for me in the tops, so, and 
yeah, tops mostly, just tops. So um, I'd say is a pla- if there's a place that you like, whether you're mid-size, plus size, and or regular size, I mean, I'm mid-size, so I can only speak for mid-size and up, even for the plus size, because the places that I shop do carry plus size too, or they have extended sizes. Um, definitely go in, definitely check it out, check out your sizing, check out what works, check out the fit. I think you cannot go wrong with getting that sense of, um, okay, this is what I like, you know, cause it can be frustrating. And then if you are the type that get frustrated with having to do returns, you'll miss out. You will not get your money back just because, uh, you know what? I don't feel like doing the process. I'll just give it to somebody. I know I've done that. Until I've done that too much to the point I was like, enough is enough. I want my money back. <laughs> so, and so all that to say, definitely take your time. Definitely find out what it is that you like. You want to be cute this spring and summer, okay? This is not the time to be just hiding in your shell and um, throwing on just anything, okay? And don't worry, we're in this together. So we, I'm going to help you, all right? <laughs> so if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And I'll make sure to have all of the links down below. And until next time, bye!